One of the uh, most noteworthy uh, aspects of the new guidelines is the timing um, and simultaneous uh, starting of different kinds of treatment for ADHD. And you can see in the guidelines that those uh, recommendations vary by the age of the child, and so I can explain a little bit about that. In the guidelines, they suggest that for preschool age children, you begin with behavior therapy. Whereas, if you read through the guidelines, you will find that for middle uh, childhood and for older children, they're less, uh, they're less intense about that recommendation. In fact, in some cases, they'll say it actually pays to start with medication or to start medication sooner. And there are multiple reasons for that. One of the reasons is that younger children tend to be more responsive to behavior therapy because behavior therapies actually change the way that adults respond to children. In middle schoolers and high schoolers, adults have less to do with the structuring of a child's daily life. Another reason is, as children age, they want to become more independent and they may be less motivated to engage in psychotherapy. Not all the time, but certainly for some of the behavioral issues that come up in the treatment of ADHD, older children are less invested in doing the kind of work necessary to carry out successful behavior therapy. Another reason to attempt behavior therapy before medication in younger children is there is some evidence, particularly, particularly from the latest study uh, with preschoolers with ADHD, that uh, these children don't always respond as robustly to the main effects of medication and may have more side effects, at least initially, when these medications are tried. There's still plenty of evidence that these medications can help a great deal, but that's yet another reason to attempt behavior therapy first. It's interesting because many parents will ask me, well, should we pursue behavior therapy or should we pursue medication? And the answer to that is not that easy because the two therapies actually target different parts of how ADHD presents. That's one of the reasons why the American Academy of Pediatrics and other organizations recommend combined therapy for these children. Uh, Behavior therapy generally targets the impairment caused by the symptoms. So in a younger child, that would be such things as compliance, as disruptive behaviors, perhaps as aggression, uh, and the relationship between the parent and the child. Whereas the medication targets the neurological functioning of these children, and therefore can have an impact on what we call the core symptoms of ADHD, which are things such as hyperactive behavior, impulsive behavior, and inattention. Behavior therapies so far have not been, been able to show lasting changes in things like hyperactivity and inattention, but they can be very helpful in that they reduce the impact of those symptoms and that brain functioning on the child's development and on their day-to-day -day functioning.